And now on news making headlines in the business world, policymakers, investors and players in the e-mobility industry are deliberating on ways to fast track uptake electric motors. It has emerged that inadequate charging ports is to blame for the few electric powered motor vehicles on Kenyan roads. Here is our reporter Regina Manyara who is at the three day forum that is taking place in Nairobi with an update. Uh, only Nairobi County can support e-vehicles or rather e-mobility with just 1,000 electric vehicles in the country. This presents an opportunity for the private sector to actually work at increasing its uptake. Ali, what do you think needs to be done to make um, or rather to increase uptake of uh, e-mobility in the country? Okay. Thank you so much. So we've had the opportunity now to have this first inaugural Kenya Power event. It's through partnerships that we'll get to scale and get to grow. So right now we've been fortunate to work with One Electric, Rubis, uh, Mogo, and other many partners to basically continue to scale. It doesn't take one person. It takes collectively everyone. So it's great to see government officials here. It's great to see Kenya Power here. It's also great to see the media here. Okay. So thank you so much. So are e-vehicles affordable? Yes, actually, and this is the, the, the benefit of having um, asset finance companies like Mogo, uh, where you pay a small deposit and you pay weekly. Um, our customers are Boda Boda riders, so we want to make sure that commercial riders have the best uh, product on the road. And so right now, uh, they pay less in terms of uh, maintenance, so the maintenance costs of these bikes are quite low, so they don't have to do oil changes, no air filters, no gears. So basically, they only have to do minor details, which is the lights, the brakes, and then they have two-year warranty on electrical. And so we're just trying to inform riders to be like, this is your bike. This is meant for you. As I say, the future is a tech and now electricity might just be the kingpin going forward. I'm Regina Manyara reporting for KBC Channel One.